canteens today. Prehistoric Southwest, AD about 1100 through about, I'd say about 1380, maybe 1420 on the Little Cedar Creek. These are just like you'd take in the field today. If you were out on a hike, uh, you have a canteen or a water bottle, the woman out gathering or the hunter out hunting, you'd have one of these little canteens and they're very sturdy. Now they can break, of course, if you hit a rock with it, it's gonna break. But they built these very solid, very thick walled, had a strap and they'd carry them just like you would today. Uh, I'm gonna rearrange the camera a little bit so we can see them better. But we have a nice variety of types today. Uh, some little canteens we'll talk about uh, what type evolved into what and some of the symbols on them. And it's a really fun ceramic form from the Southwest. You see oils, you see bowls and dippers, but little canteens, you see these once in a while and you don't see them as often as other forms because they would get broken and when, if they broke in the field, they would just leave them in the field, they wouldn't bring them home. So if you're working in a Pueblo, you won't see that many of them. You see them once in a while. Uh, let me come around and get the light a little different on them and we'll talk about them one by one. All right, we're gonna start with, uh, I'm gonna start with this little terribly destroyed, overcleaned little vessel. This had caliche on it, and somebody at some point in time overcleaned it, probably with the chlorine, and really, really did a lot of damage to that vessel. And this is a perfect example of what not to do. It's hard, to, it's really hard to type this up. It could be a Tularosa, could be a Pinedale, could be a reserve. It's probably it's probably Tularosa. You see these butterflies. I'm pretty sure these are butterflies. I'll show you. I'm going to do a whole video on just butterflies. You notice one is bigger, one is smaller. We see that quite a lot. It's not an accident. Uh, in the Pueblo mythologies, there are the warrior twins, brother elder and brother younger. And you very often see this larger and smaller. Uh, in the symbols, you see it quite a lot. Well, we'll start with a snowflake. This is a beautiful example of a snowflake black on white. Uh, dates from 1100 AD to about 1200 AD. Very sturdy little canteen. You see this net or mesh pattern. This could very well represent a, a rabbit net. They would make these nets out of, believe it or not, human hair, and they found them in dry caves in New Mexico and Arizona, and some of these nets are actually a mile long. And they would have big rabbit drives, and they would drive the rabbits into the net, and they would have a big feast. After Snowflake Black and White, we have Tularosa Black and White. Classic type, made a lot of this stuff, they traded it very widely. Uh, 1200 AD to about 1300 AD. Raised areola, very typical of Tularosa, interlocked terraces or spirals, very common. Now, these little lugs are very often uh, animal forms. So they'll be a doggy head or they'll be a, uh, a little turkey maybe, quite a bit. This one has some turkey tracks or bird tracks at least. Another Tularosa, there we have interlocked terrace units like I talked about. And the lugs again, interesting little pattern on that one. And we have bird tracks around the rim. That's probably bird clan, bird house, bird family, the birds. From Tularosa evolved Pinedale, black on white. Nice little Pinedale here. The checkerboard pattern, the starry sky or the Milky Way, pathway of the warrior twins. And it's also got this very nice square property icon. This is probably property or house symbol. You see that square like that. People started, the Pueblo buildings are square like that. And as soon as start, people start planting crops, they start becoming very conscientious about who's, whose house, whose land, whose place this is. This is a really rare type. This is a Gainus black on gray. This is up by, up in New Mexico. And boy, these, you'd almost think that this was a, me, uh, you know, a less skilled meme brace. They did figurative work, very similar uh, style, but just not with the skill of the meme brace powders. I've got a really nice turkey in the corn, Oya. I'll show you at some point. When we're doing Oya's, we'll look at that one. 
little, we have one more beautiful little canteen. This is a Cedar Creek, a little fugitive white on there. Not much symbol as well. We get clouds. Here we have cloud units. You see this interlock terrace. These are clouds, this long neck terrace. There you go, Inverta, a little terracing on the neck. A little Cedar Creek. This is quite late. This one probably dates, uh, oh, 1380, 1420. Beautiful little vessel. Canteens. <laughs>